Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Houston Texans franchise here on Next Gen Madden 21. Now, we are sitting here now at 3-9 and nine on the season. I want to finish strong here, and I really want to do some talent evaluation of this roster. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to do here in the future. We have some interesting weapons, including Kiki QT, a very small but fast receiver. He's kind of a clone of Brandon Cooks, to be honest. So I really need to figure out. I don't want two receivers that do the exact same thing. But I'll have to see. I do like Isaiah Coulter, though, the rookie out of Rhode Island. I really like him. He is only 69 overall. I'm looking forward to developing him. And also QT, so maybe even it's Brandon Cooks we may need to figure out what we want to do with because I want to figure out what is going to happen with this receiving core. We have Will Fuller, who's a free agent as well. So let's just figure that out here in these final games. So we start out here on offense versus the Chicago Bears. We're gonna air it on the first play, deep. It's Coulter, and he beats Eddie Jackson. 57 yards, what a great throw by Deshaun Watson. I'm gonna love playing with Watson just because I know how good of a quarterback he is right away. We have our guy, and then look at that throw. I mean, that is just crazy accuracy. Isaiah Coulter, the rookie, first down. So handoff this time is David Johnson up the middle. He gets inside the 15. Gain of 11 for him. So Duke Johnson checks in now. First and 10 handoff. He gets inside the five. And that's his first carry of the game. So we eventually lose a couple yards on second down, bringing it to a third and three. This time Watson gets out of the pocket, trying to buy time. He can't get away from, I believe that was Hicks that time. And we throw it away and settle for three. So out comes Nick Foles, 25 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. I don't know if he's under contract next year, but uh, he is the starter right now over Trubisky. So here's the opening play that time to David Montgomery, and there is J.J. Watt getting the stop in the backfield. So second and 10 handoff this time is David Montgomery, and he picks up another gain of about six yards, bringing it to a third and three. Five wide out there for Nick Foles this time. Blacklock gets around a defender, but Nick Foles gets out of the pocket, throws on the run. He's going to find Allen Robinson fighting for a new contract, and it's a first down for him. And now they get to across the 50-yard line. So here is Foles now from the shotgun at about the 28-yard line. This time Foles has an open man, and he's got Anthony Miller inside the 10. First down, and now here they are with goal to go. So they eventually get it to the two-yard line now. Here is Foles. Looks like Cordarrelle Patterson next to him. Quick throw across the middle, but it's picked off. And it looks like that is going to be caught by Eric Murray. How about that play in the red zone? And Eric Murray comes up with his first interception as far as what we've played here in this series. And now here we are back on offense. Here's a quick throw, and that is Darren Fells, the veteran tight end. He picks up the first down right away. It looks like tight end is going to be a big part of this offense because, honestly, the receivers stretch it out so much that you need a guy across the middle that's really going to make those, you know, those get-to-the-sticks type of catches. So here on a second and one, play action fake. Wide open in the flat is our fullback out of the backfield. It's a first down. And now we get it across the 50. So Watson looks good throwing the ball in this game. Here's another throw to left side. That's Darren Fells again beating Danny Trevathan in coverage. How about Watson? Five for six to start this game. So once again, another throw. This time across the middle, it's Kiki QT for his first catch of the game. How about this efficiency from this offense? Quick throw to the sideline, and we finally miss one. That time it's David Johnson out of the backfield being guarded by Khalil Mack, but Deshaun Watson just misses that throw. So we settle for three once again. Here is Nick Foles back onto the field, this time finding Cole Komet. And he picks up almost a first down as they get it to the 33 here for a 32. Here is Foles. He goes down right away. Ross Blacklock for the sack. He got in there right away. He just threw off the defensive lineman and gets past David Montgomery. Easy quick sack. And there we go. Only 2.3 seconds. Wow. So now here they are, their own 35, the Texans are. Here's a deep shot once again. This time QT goes up and gets it. First down, nice throw by Watson. Maybe a dangerous throw in coverage that time, but he gets it completed to about the 24. So first and 10, here's a handoff. This time David Johnson spins around, picks up 
about a gain of nine. Run the ball well in this one. 41 yards off of eight attempts. This time a read option keeper. This time Watson gets out of the pocket, and he gets inside the 10. Roquan Smith on the tackle, but it's a first and goal. So here we are at the eight now. Handoff. David Johnson has a lot of room. Touchdown. We get in for another scoring drive. Three scoring opportunities on our first three drives, and we at least get one touchdown. It's 13-0. So here are the Bears back on offense. This time trying to run the screen pass to Corderell Patterson. How about the athleticism from Ross Blacklock? He is going to be the starter at nose tackle in the future and now. And you can just see his potential already oozing in this game as they throw across the middle on third 13. And that is going to be a stop. And we do get another punt. So one more possession before halftime. Here we are with a minute left here in the first half. Here is Watson. And he just loses his footing that time. Steps out of bounds. And now get it to a third and 12. Watson throws to an open man, and he just slightly throws it behind his receiver. Eddie Jackson on the coverage, and that's how this one goes into halftime. We have a comfortable lead, but not too comfortable. 13-0, pitching the shutout. So here we are to start the second half. We can shut down the Bears once again. That would be crazy. I love what I'm seeing from this defense, and here's a handoff, and this time it's Patterson who gets up the middle. And it's a nice gain of eight yards. As now they get it to the 33 here. Now second and two. Foles, handoff. Cordero Patterson, no play. Actually fake throw across the middle. It's picked off. This time I believe that is Reed. I'm wrong on that one. Who is that? That is Lonnie Johnson Jr. I need to learn these players a little bit more. And he comes up with his first interception of this game. And now we get it to the 43 on our next possession. Great field position. So here is Watson this time, moving to the left side, throwing on the run. He's got David Johnson picking up a block from QT. It's a touchdown. How about this passing offense? 43 yards to David Johnson out of the backfield. He's doing it all this game, running the ball well, catching as well. And we're trying to justify that trade a little bit. We definitely want to get David Johnson going in this offense. And now it's 21-0 after the two-point conversion. So here's a throw out to the right side. This time it's Anthony Miller who gets going. And now that gets it to the 44 after a first down throw. Here is a draw play. This time to Cordero Patterson who breaks a tackle. And that one is going to be a first down. Reed could not take him down. Now that gets it to the 33. So here's a handoff, a wide open hole. This time it's David Montgomery. And another first down. Finally the Bears are putting together a nice drive on this one. They only given the ball to Montgomery though four times in this game. Probably a recipe to fail. Here's a quick throw. Anthony Miller, he spins around. It's a touchdown, crossing. Can't get him before the goal line, and he gets in 21-6. to The Bears are finally on the board. So now we're at the end of the third quarter here. Let's see if our offense can put together one more good drive. But here is a sack this time, and that is a fumble. And I believe that was, was that, no, that's Robert Quinn on the sack. And now that gets it to a third and 28 after that uh, strip sack fumble. Here's Watson moving to the right side. He's going to buy some time, throwing across the middle of the field. And it's caught by David Johnson. Now that is something that could get you fired right there as a coach. If you have a bad team and a losing record and you give up that type of play, it's definitely a head, shake, head scratcher, I should say, on that one. And now here we are inside the 10, third and five from the seven. Good, good blocking this time. Watson tries to scramble out. He's got nothing but room, and he runs in. It's a touchdown. Great blocking by David Johnson. I got to give credit to him helping out our right tackle, Titus Howard, on that play. And now here we are with the three-score lead back to it. Now 28-7 to here in the fourth quarter. We get one more possession, and David Johnson having his best game of this series so far, over 100 yards and probably close to 100 yards receiving as well. So here's a handoff this time. Johnson again getting inside the 15. It's a first down. 21 attempts, 114 yards, and a touchdown. We're going to keep giving it to him. Handoff. Johnson up the middle. Look at him fight forward for the first down. Three on this drive alone. And now we have it with goal to go. Two minutes left here in this game now. Watson has not thrown the ball yet. Handoff. Johnson. Touchdown. 
I love the mechanics on this next gen. You can just see if that was actually on the old gen, that would have been a hard cut to that hole. But look at how the body just kind of maneuvers. I like the movement. 35 to 7 here in the game. That ends up being the final. How about the balance of the two rushing the ball and throwing the ball? Watson was absolutely amazing. So accurate in this game. It started with the first throw of the game with a 57-yard bomb to Coulter. And honestly, Nick Foles had zero chance in this one. He threw two interceptions. Watson was on his game. David Johnson was on his game. All three receivers were on their game. Cooks was kind of quiet, but still, we did our thing throwing the football. Johnson actually did go over 100 yards. Five catches, 106, and went over 100 yards rushing. Easily one of his best games as a pro all around. QT, three for 53. Coulter only had that one catch for 57. But our defense really played well. Ross Blacklock got a sack. Jacob Martin also got a sack. And then uh, how about our secondary as well? Eric Murray and uh, Lonnie Johnson getting the interception in this one as well. But a very good win going into the final games of this season. Isaiah Coulter has an upgrade. Remember, he is just a rookie. Now 70 overall. Looking forward to developing him in this offense. Zach Cunningham also has an upgrade. He is our middle linebacker and will be probably for at least the short term future. I love what I see out of Zach Cunningham so far and he gets an upgrade as well. So in the next matchup, we go up against the Bengals and they don't have Joe Burrow because remember he is hurt in real life. So I did carry over that into this roster. But they are quarterback by Ryan Finley, 59 overall. They're probably going to be looking for a new backup quarterback come this next draft. I will reveal the draft class next episode, so you don't want to miss that one. And then they have the same weapons, A.J. Green, Tyler Boyd, Drew Sample. All, Drew Sample actually leads them in touchdowns, and then T. Higgins as well at receiver. So quick highlights, let's just jump into this game here in the fourth quarter. Here is Finley with a nice throw down the right sideline. Tyler Boyd gets into the end zone. He goes over 1,000 yards with that catch, and now it is 14 up here in the fourth quarter. Let's see if Watson has some magic here. Here's a handoff this time. David Johnson, big time hole, and he hits it hard. Johnson having himself an amazing two-game stretch, and he gets tackled at the one. That one actually was one yard short of 100 yards on the game, and it gets tackled at the one. It's now first and goal. You got to figure a way to give it to him on this play. Here's a handoff, and it is going to be in for David Johnson right at 100 yards rushing in this game, and a touchdown his second of the day, 21 to 14. So let's see if we can come up with a stop here with under three minutes left. Here's Finley. He's going to hand off to Joe Mixon, and he picks up about a gain of a three, maybe four yards but it ends up being third and inches. So now from the shotgun, Finley, he's gonna throw to left side. He's got Sample who leads the team in touchdowns and breaks the tackle. He's out of bounds as well. First and goal. So now they're set up at the four yard line. Here's a handoff, Mixon walks in. Lonnie Johnson couldn't make the stop. It's a touchdown. And now the Bengals tie this game right back up at 21 apiece. So here's our offense. Ken Watson, you know he's so good in the fourth quarter and in the clutch. Here's a handoff. David Johnson, though, stopped in the backfield. And we hurried up to the line here without calling a timeout, looking for the right play. So it looks like we're going to run a little bit of a vertical here. We have Coulter across the middle in a deep post. Let's see if we can find him. But look at QT on the outside. He beats his man off the line, and he's wide open. QT gets tackled at the three. Watson is so good at throwing the deep ball. We've learned that early. QT shows off the speed, and we get to the three-yard line. First and goal, handoff. David Johnson, he just falls down and forces the Bengals to call a couple of timeouts. Interesting strategy here. Third and goal, handoff. Johnson can't fight in, though, and now they call their final timeout, and we're not going to go for it here. We're going to be smart. Kick the field goal. We know they don't have any timeouts. So now they have about less than a minute left, zero timeouts to drive the field. So here's a throw to the right side. This time it's Drew Sample who does get out of bounds. How did he fight out of bounds on that one? But it ends up being a first down. So now from their own 45, 16 seconds left. Here is 
Finley throws to the right side. It's going to be mixed in, but who cuts inside? And that one uses a ton of clock, and they're not going to be able to clock this one. The clock runs out, and that one ends up being the game. Mixon tries to do too much at the end, and we do hold on for the victory, our fifth win of the season here. And we end up getting the victory versus Ryan Finley. It was a little too close against Ryan Finley, to be honest, but a win is a win. Deshaun Watson did throw an interception in this game. He didn't throw a touchdown, but had over 300 yards passing. David Johnson ran over 100 yards for the second straight game. Very good to see that. Kiki QT, eight receptions, 150 yards. I really like what QT is doing, really showing me something in this offense, and I really like what I have out of him, Coulter, and Cooks so far. Cooks has been quiet, but I really like the young guys here. Ross Blacklock also gets another sack in this game while J.J. Watt adds three. So a couple of upgrades here. How about the right tackle, Titus Howard? We're going to have to really evaluate him. He's been kind of a disappointment in real life up to this point. And we'll have to see what to do with him at right tackle. Then there's J.J. Watt. And the question is, what do we do in the offseason? And I am actually leaning towards keeping him just because I want to get him that ring finally in Houston. But we end up getting to 6-9 on the season. One more game left on the schedule. We are sitting here going up against the 3-12 Tennessee Titans. I don't think I've... I would have ever thought that the Titans would be 3-12. and 12. They have a much better team than a three-win team. So this could be just a down year for them. But next episode, we will highlight the recruiting class as well. I will talk about that in that episode, so you don't want to miss that. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Back again like flu season I broke records while loose leaf And I'm coming now on my roof leaving Don't give a f I don't care uh, Did the f*** on my lonesome No wonder now I'm on one No shortcuts on that long run All I really want is my share uh, Get him, I got him, I told him it's nothing